another feature of branches that can be really confusing is the way that changes that you have saved but you haven't committed yet are going to follow you when you switch branches. During lecture, I was very careful to commit all my changes before I switched because I didn't want this, um, this behavior to happen. Um, but it, it will happen. You are going to have to, you do need to be aware of this, um, especially if you're working from the command line or you're working for our studio. Now, if you're working from GitHub desktop, it uh, actually has a really nice feature. You don't, don't really have to worry about this. But um, I'll show that in a separate video. But let's see this from our studio. And the behaviors you're going to see are something you will see if you work from the command line also, or if you work from uh, Visual Studio Code. So I mean, here I'm on the development branch. You can see that. And I'm going to delete that. And then I'm going to save it. So now you see that I've got this change. I haven't committed it yet. It's here in, in the dock here. I haven't staged it either. And now I switch to the main branch. It's not going to complain. There we go. And now I'm on the main branch. And hey, my change has followed me. Oh, how annoying. And then I was like, okay, wait, wait. Okay, let's get back over to development. Great. Okay, they're still there, but where did the like ah I, I wanted those changes only on development and now here they are on the main branch too how do i how do i stop that so here's how you stop it and good and just keep in mind that what i'm about to show you is specific to the shell i'm gonna watch the video on github desktop you'll see it has a much better solution to this so I am here, where am I? Let's figure out where I am. I'm on the development branch. And now what I want to do is before I jump to the main, I need to do something called stash. So I'm going to stash these changes. Remember, if I had committed them, they wouldn't have this problem. This is because for whatever reason, I don't feel like committing yet. So I'm going to stash them. So now what you see is, hey, the lines are back. Uh, Okay, well, they're not, uh, they're not gone. They're just in that stash. Now I can switch to main. And now they're here. Okay, I do whatever I want to do over on main. And then I go back to development. Okay, and now feels like they're not there, but they are there. They're just in the stash. And I do git stash pop and they come back and now I'm done I can before I switch back to main I can commit all these changes okay so uh, watch the next the video on showing this with github desktop to see a, a much more intuitive I think approach to this issue